I just wanted to come on here and talk to you a little bit about the breakfast that I had. I think I mentioned this in another video as well, but I started putting protein powder in my yogurt at breakfast and I've really been liking it because usually I try to eat yogurt that had higher protein itself, but you can't always find that and it's not always cheap. A very good alternative to that is to just put protein powder into your yogurt and like I've been doing it with vanilla protein powder, but I also have chocolate protein powder. So I want to try that too at some point, but I feel like vanilla is just less intrusive. So it goes well with pretty much everything. But anyway, that's what I've been doing for the past few weeks. And I think I've been feeling a lot more full for the rest of the day with the higher protein in my breakfast but that's just what works for me and i'm just trying to help you have a few more ideas of how you can actually improve your fullness and how that might work for you but another thing i wanted to talk to you about is something that i mentioned in my last video which i link up here and it's my london vlog i do want to have a little chat about books if you don't really care about books you can just skip forward to this like timestamp i'm gonna put right there but i just really want to talk about them real quick i'm gonna start with a book that i actually didn't buy in london but i still want to talk about it i ordered it online and it just came in the mail like two days ago and it's powerless i haven't read it yet but i've heard so many reviews about it and i think there's a second book about to be released this year maybe but I bought this because first of all it's really pretty but also I've just heard so many good things about this book so I wanted to have it in my collection I have a really small book collection it's literally just Akatar so A Court of Thorns and Roses the whole series and Sorcery of Thorns that was just like a random book I read <laughs> like over a year ago but i really liked it and then there's another few like non-fiction books that i have but anyways i do want to start a bit of a book collection and buy books that i think look nice and are really nice and don't want to overdo it i just want to buy books that i actually really like and usually i do read them on my kindle first and then i buy them but for these books i just thought i wanted to buy them because i was in london and everything in the bookstores was in english and it was a really fun experience and i wanted to buy some books there but anyways i'll, I'll go through the books that i bought in london and then i'll talk about the book that i'm currently reading it's not going to be too long it's just going to be a quick little recap of what i bought it's literally just two books so the first one is this once upon a broken heart and like with powerless i've heard a lot of good things about this 
I don't really like reading the back of books too much if I know that they're good like if I have recommendations from like TikTok or YouTubers that I watch. I try not to read the back because I kind of want to go into it blindly almost to not spoil anything. So I actually don't know a lot about this book. I just know that it's a fantasy book like Powerless as well and the last one too which is uh, Caraval. It's literally all fantasy books and all of them were recommended to me by TikTok and Instagram. Yeah, I was influenced, I bought them and I'm really happy about it because they look so pretty. They literally look so pretty. Couldn't be happier. But the book that I'm currently reading on my Kindle, oh no, my Kindle always, I don't know if you saw the other video that I posted, I'm not sure which one it was, I think the 75 hard challenge i talked about my kindle stickers but they like it's good that i can move them around but they also move around a bit too much sometimes because i have a pop socket which i can take out but sometimes this one moves around yeah whatever the book that i'm currently reading on here is actually also from sarah j mass like akatar but it's crescent city and i just finished the first book yesterday evening so i haven't started the second one yet which is this one the house of sky and breath and the other one was house of fire and blood something like that wait <laughs> earth and blood <laughs> House of Earth and Blood is the first one of Crescent City and House of Sky and Breath is the second one. Yeah, I haven't started the second one yet, but I think I want to finish... I don't know if I should finish Crescent City first or if I want to start Powerless next and then finish Crescent City because Crescent City books, they're like really long. They're like 800 pages. So, I don't know. I don't know. I still have to figure that out today probably because I want to continue reading something today. But yeah, I will be editing my video a little bit before having lunch now and then I also want to go for a walk today because it's so nice out and I've been loving going on walks outside lately. Just putting on a podcast and going on a walk. It's really nice. So yeah, I'm probably going to do that soon but first I want to edit the video that's coming up next week which is actually the video before this one, the London vlog I was talking about before but I still have to finish it. just finished my lunch and I'm not sure how well you saw it but I literally cut myself I just bandaged it real quick but 
yeah i cut my finger with the canned tuna which has never happened to me before thankfully but yeah i actually wanted to make some little protein bliss balls today but you have to like form them into a ball with your hands and i'm not sure if it's sanitary <laughs> to do it while i have a cut in my finger even though i have a bandage on it i think i'm gonna do it some other time because i've done them before and they turned out really good but i wanted to show them to you and i will but in another video so stay tuned it's coming soon yeah i just wanted to update you on this really quickly so i'm gonna go on a walk really soon and i'll take you along with me just finished dinner that my mom made it was just an omelette that i filled with zucchini arugula and some mushrooms and then we had bruschetta and i had two of them so yeah that was my dinner i still wanna have some desserts i have it up here i'm just gonna have these two lint chocolate balls this one's just the classic milk chocolate one and this one is filled with pistachio and i love this so yeah basically this is my whole day of eating it's literally just one day of me eating intuitively it's not to show you what you're supposed to eat or what would work for you but literally just one day in my life i do plan on making some more videos that focus on the whole week and showing you what i eat in a whole week just so you can get a better picture of what actually goes on in my weeks and how I eat and you can get a better picture of everything yeah if you got to here you're probably gonna like my other videos I'm going to leave a playlist on the screen soon just go and check out my other videos if you want and I hope that I see you in my next video bye